for the first time a possible breakthrough for the heart disease that strikes kids with muscular dystrophy. Today, a major announcement at the American Heart Association's scientific conference. Our Dr. Bruce Hensel is here right now with exclusive details for us. Dr. Bruce? Well, Colleen, this story involves this incredible young man, his mother, who refused to give up, and groundbreaking stem cell research by doctors at the Cedar sinai Heart Institute, where treatment for heart attacks may someday change in a bit to save the lives of kids like Dusty. Dusty Brandon has muscular dystrophy. Weakened muscles put him in a wheelchair but did not dampen his spirit. But over time, as with all muscular dystrophy patients, the disease caused scarring in Dusty's heart and lungs. Like I can't take as deep breaths as normal people. That heart disease actually can be very limiting and often is what actually causes death in these patients. Refusing to accept that, Dusty's mom searched everywhere for an answer. She may have found one in a surprising place. I read an article called Repairing Broken Hearts, and in it, it talked about Dr. Marban's treatment that he was using for adults with heart attacks. In that treatment, Dr. Eduardo Marban and his colleagues inject stem cells directly into the area of the patient's heart that was scarred by a heart attack. And the idea there is that they can actually regrow heart muscle that everybody thinks is permanently lost and converted to scar. The problem? funding a study that would test the theory on muscular dystrophy. So mom went to work using the charity she formed, Coalition Duchesne, named for a form of muscular dystrophy. And we were able to put together $150,000 to, to fund this um, research grant. In the first study, Marban took stem cells and he injected those cells right into the hearts of mice with muscular dystrophy. It turns out the results were spectacular, much better than we expected. The mouse hearts got dramatically better. The next step, human trials on people like Dusty. Guys like me will be able to walk again. It would be really good to, uh, to maybe be able to do some things I can't do anymore. Now, of course, that next step, the first step, will take time. But Marban says the results on the mice were so striking, it may make a big difference in muscular dystrophy. As he said, it's the heart disease that can prove fatal for these kids. This may save many lives. The work of Coalition Duchesne is helping fund these efforts.